Yo, what's good? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a reset button GUI. Basically, uh, it's gonna be a little GUI. When the player clicks it, it basically respawns them, like resets. Like if someone was to go to like was to press escape, then click R and then reset character. Basically, it basically is doing that. I guess you could use this if like you disabled the normal Roblox one, or if you just wanted a GUI one or GUI option, so a player wouldn't have to go through that. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So if you guys remember from my last video, I did say I was a little sick, so if I sound a little uh, stuffy or whatever, uh, you guys know why, but yeah. So you're going to go ahead and over starter GUI, insert a screen GUI, you want to do text button, and inside this text button you want to insert a normal script, you want to delete print hello world, then you're going to want to make two variables. The first variable you're going to do local character. We're gonna do equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent basically four parents. Then you're gonna to wanna to do dot character. The re everything here will autofill for you, but character will not. You're gonna to have to put this yourself basically and stuff. Then for your second variable, you're gonna to wanna to do local health. Local health equals character dot humanoid. And same thing here, it does not autofill. Then you're going to do enter. You want to skip. You're going to want to skip a line. You're going to want to make a function. Function. Obviously, you can name the function whatever you want it to be. But for this, we're going to name it reset as that's what it basically does. Function reset. And you just click enter. You can just leave close parentheses. Then you're going to we're going to use while for this. We use a while loop. We're going to do while health dot health then you're going to want to do greater than equal to you're going to want to use both of those signs zero then you click enter again it'll all it'll autofill do for you or you can just put it in manually but yeah do health dot health equals health dot health minus 100 basically It'll, this is the player's current health, and then it's basically saying we want to change this to whatever their current health is, that minus 100. If someone obviously had 100 health, full health basically, and minus 100, they would have zero health, which would basically kill them. So it's just basic math basically and stuff. Depending on, you would need to change this to whatever the max health is for your game, because if you have more than 100 health, you need to change this for the max. But yeah, this is the basic. And then you're also going to want to put weight. If you guys remember from the last video, you don't want the game to overload and stuff. Trying to like, trying to like run the function and stuff, because that's how while while loops can like kind of not break your game, but it can like cause the uh, script to overload. Kind of if that makes sense. You want to put wait so that the game has time to wait, so it can like properly think would be the best way to put it. And then you're gonna want to connect it. You're gonna want to do script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect reset or whatever you named it but for this reset and then let's go ahead i haven't really i haven't customized it i guess we could just customize it real quick i guess uh we can make it a nice black uh do click to reset this is optional you guys don't have to i'm just doing this just so it so you guys is Basically, this is how it would just like look really in a game, I guess you'd say. But yeah, there you go. We have a little, we have a little reset button. Let me click play. As you can see, when I click, click to reset, as soon as I click it, player dies. I fall through. But yeah, even while I still have my spawn chill on, it still works. And then I'll wait for it to disappear. So I'll show you guys again. When spawn chill goes away, there you go. All right. Left mouse button click and boom. Resets every time I click it and then obviously it just waits on the respawn and I respawn back and spawn. But yeah, that's how you make a, a reset button and stuff. If you guys want to use that in your games and stuff, but yeah. As always, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if this was helpful to you guys. Um as always if you guys need help or anything, just leave a comment and I will uh, respond. And as always, I will leave the script in the description if you guys just want to copy and paste it and stuff. And yeah, so this was helpful. Yeah, I'll see you.